Okay guys, this is another way for me to practice my English by reading something loud. Uh, reading practice, the title is Long Shaming. Reading practice, Long Shaming. Every day millions of children receive news at schools across the United States. The National School Lunch Program is a federally existed program that operates in public and non-profit private schools. It provides meals to around 30 million children nationwide. What happened in Rhode Island? Rhode Island school officials Learn recently that denying children a hot meal led to strong criticism on social media. Some parents had not paid lunch money for their children, so the school district had planned to serve the children cold sandwiches. But after receiving hundreds of comments on Facebook and angry telephone calls, the school district last week cancelled the plan. Catherine Bonang is with Warwick Public Schools, the district receiving the criticism. She told the Associated Press that the bad reaction to the sandwich plan was global. Such plans are not new, but they are increasingly facing public criticism. If a child is seen eating a cold meal, for example, it becomes clear who owes money, and this can cause feelings of guilt or shame. The movement against non shaming is gaining popularity around the country. In the past, Warwick students who owed lunch money were served cheese sandwiches that are not on the normal menu. School district officials wanted to make this less noticeable by changing to a kind of sandwich that is offered to everyone, Bonham explained. Last month, U.S. lawmakers proposed anti-lunch shaming bills to help protect children with unpaid fees. The USDA does not support actions that identify such students but gives school district permission to set their own policies. But criticism pushed officials to say all students would get their choice of a hot meal, a policy of not letting older children with unpaid fees take part in school trips, dances, or other activities was also recently stopped, the district said. Are the meals a form of shaming? A child can feel shame even if other children do not know why they are getting a cold sandwich, said Jennifer Ramo. She is with an organization called New Mexico Apple Seed. It works on improving the lives of poor people. After forgetting to pay lunch money for one week, one parent said her young son was given a sunflower butter sandwich last year. The mother said her heart broke when she picked him up at school and he asked why she had not paid. She was also charged $2.50 for the sandwich, the same price as for a hot meal, 
The woman lives in Cranston, Rhode Island, not far from Warwick. Cranston School District said it no longer serves alternative meals. Michael Crudel is with Cranston Public Schools. He says simply getting a letter from a collection agency can sometimes get families to pay. He said parents' credit rating scores are not affected, but that letters are sent every 30 days until the school year ends. At that point, Crudel said the district decides to pay the cost and the debt is cancelled. I am Jill Robbins and I am Alice Bryant. Actually, this is the author name, not me. Candice Choi wrote this story for the Associated Press. Alice Bryant adapted her report for VOA Learning English. George Grow was the editor. We want to hear from you. How do you feel about schools serving different or the same foods to students with unpaid meal, meal fees? Write to us in the comment section. Don't forget to comment. Okay, guys, see you again on the next reading session.